G'day guys, Jake Moore back here. Today I'm going to show you how to get custom keyboard shortcuts in Pro Tools 10 and 11 on a Mac. So we'll start off in Pro Tools 10, I mean sorry, 11. Um, now a lot of other DAWs allow you to change keyboard shortcuts and all that sort of stuff within the software. Uh, Pro Tools is a little bit different. You've actually got to do it through application support. So if we go to system preferences and we open up accessibility, and we go to keyboard, and then if we open keyboard preferences, we can actually um, go to shortcuts, and then we can go down right down to the bottom to apps application shortcuts. Then we can add shortcuts here for any particular application that we have. So in Pro Tools 11, I want to create a shortcut for save as, because I'm always saving as, say if I do a big change, I'll do save as and rename it, so I can go back through the project. So if I go back to system preferences, uh, in application shortcuts, if I go plus, and choose Pro Tools and then menu title. We need to enter the exact name of the menu command you want to add. And that includes the capital letters and the three dots. So let's add that. So save as dot dot dot. And then we add the keyboard shortcut. So for this, I'm going to do shift command S and I'm going to go add. So now that's added the shortcut, it should come up and there it is there. Save as, I'll just double check that that works. Shift command S and it gives me an option to save as. So I'll go cancel. Um, now I'm going to just show you that in Pro Tools 10. Pro Tools 10 is a little bit different. It's just a little bit of a workaround. The exact same process. We want to do it through um, application shortcuts. We've just got to change a few things or change one thing for it to work. So I'll just open that, that same session. So I want to add uh, the keyboard shortcut, save as. So if I go to, sorry, if I go to system preferences again, and if I go to add another instance of Pro Tools, so that's Pro Tools 11. If I go down to other, I want to add Pro Tools 10. So you can see that Pro Tools 11 is here. So that's Pro Tools 11, 11.2. Uh, Pro Tools 10 is in Avid, Pro Tools. You can see it's here. However, it's named the same. So if I go add, it's gonna just simply add uh, Pro Tools 11 again. So I've got to actually rename this application. It's easy enough to do. So I'll just go cancel here. Then in Finder, I wanna to go to Applications, Avid Pro Tools. I want to just rename this to Pro Tools 10. So now that's Pro Tools 10. If I go back to System Preferences, we'll add, we'll go down to the bottom, go to Other, Pro Tools, Pro Tools 10. You can see now. Okay, this is Pro Tools 10. So now menu title, same as before. Save as dot 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 with capitals. And I want Shift Command S. I want to add that. You can see there's two different instances. Now if I go back to Tools, we go File. You can see it's added it. So let's just see if that works. Command Shift S. And there we go. This works for any shortcut. Um, 
I like to add another, uh, say if I'm working with movie, I like to add bounce to quick time as a shortcut. But um, yeah, it all comes down to what you want to use it for. Just make sure that you type in the menu title exactly and you should be all right. Uh, thank you for watching.